Just spread your index and middle fingers a little further. Ah, there! You're ready to throw the funny fireball. This pitch is a secret weapon that's been in the family for generations, son. But, Dad, I can barely even hold it this way. Come on, zip it on in there, Southpaw. <laughs> Ow! What the? Oh, hello there, Phil. This yours? <laughs> Hi, bud. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just teaching my boy the funny fireball. Oh, yes. The ancient springtime rite of passage. The father handing down the ancient lore, showing his son how to throw the furry bunny ball. <laughs> funny fireball. Whatever. Personally, I wouldn't know a baseball if it hit me on the head. Well, actually, I would, because one just did. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> well, gotta go. See ya! You know, Dad, everybody thinks I'm a really good first baseman. Maybe I should just play first base and... Son, come here. You see this? That's me, the number two pitcher. This was the year I invented the funny fireball. I know you'll make a great pitcher. It's in the blood, like father, like son. But Dad, Patty's a much better... No but, son. There are no buts in baseball. As for Patty, look, Patty's a great friend, right? But you can't let that influence you. You were born to be a pitcher. Trust me. I wanted to play first base. I wanted Patty to pitch. I wanted to win games. Dad was the one who wanted me to be a pitcher. Hi, Dad. Guess what? I'm a Major League first baseman. That's wonderful, Doug. And I won the World Series. Fantastic. And I just signed a zillion dollar a year contract. Great. But that's nothing. You know what's really great? What's that, son? I've won the Nobel Prize. For pitching? No, Dad. For peace. Oh. Dad. Dad. What do you want from me? Couldn't you have been a pitcher? Like your old man?